Hello guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. My name's Lei. So last week I made a video of the makeup. I'm so glad I bought. When I finished videoing, I watched myself. I can feel the excitement of myself. Well, today's video is going to be a little depressing compared with that one. I mean, not really for you, but depressing for myself. The reason is today's video is going to be a the products I regret to buy. Some of the yeah. products you were super excited to buy, and when you got the first impression, you kind of like knew you don't really like them or it's not like what you expected and then you kind of like go give it more shots and then eventually it just doesn't work so yeah the reason i'm making this video is because for a lot of you you don't have so much money to spend on cosmetics so you want every penny is spending on the point but if you have a disagreement or you have a great experience with the stuff i mentioned during the video i'm so happy for you because i have nothing personal against the brand or the products so yeah i still have three collections of them which is the drugstore and the middle Middle level and the high end. Let's start the first item from the drugstore, shall we? The first one I'm gonna say is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Dropping Foundation, especially I think for oily skin. I know a lot of you liked it, it's so cheap and it works so well, but for me, the reason I don't like it is because I have a dry skin and it will break my skin so bad. When I use this foundation, you don't have to come so close to me, you already can see the cracking on my face. In general, my skin condition is not too bad. And another reason I don't like it because the shade is too limited. So yeah, I think if you have oily skin, this one can work better for you. Okay, let's from the same brand is the same collection HD liquid coverage concealer because the applicator is very detailed. I was excited and the container looks very elegant. But when I'm using this, it breaks out so bad and it will just fade out very soon. Definitely won't last 24 hours for me. I don't know if they are the same collection because they both called HD liquid. Um, but these two definitely doesn't work together or doesn't work individually for me. The last one from Catrice I'm gonna complain about is the Catrice Liquid Metal Long Lasting Cream Eyeshadow. Well, I know a lot of you think this is the alternative of Stila's Liquid Eyeshadow. Um, and I bought this because I watched Tati's video and it works like a dream for her. And I bought the same, exactly the shade 20 Champagne Shower and I tried on my eyes at the day and I'm not oily skin type at all and after all day on my eyelid in the corner I think five to six hours it's already like patchy and fading everywhere it ruined my whole makeup so definitely not for me okay and the next one I'm going to say is the Rimmel lasting finish 24 hours breathable foundation I like the shade at the beginning because it's so breathable it's so light I like the applicator it's so soft when it touches your skin but the reason I don't like it is because because the coverage is so light. It's even lighter than the HD one. I think the complaint about this is it's too expensive as the function of a tinted moisturizer. Next one is also from Rimmel. It's their Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. This one I bought it for those hashtags. I thought they were so cute. I see, I already have tried it several times. When I tried on my hand, I think they're fine. So I use this several times and every time when I use them, it's not even so hot in here, but every time when I use them under eye area, my under eye area will just be cakey. I don't know what happened in there because, you know, I'm kind of a person who like if I hear a complaint or if I'm complaining something, I would like to give a alternative idea, like suggestion. I like, I don't like this. 
the reason is da 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 and uh, what I think can make it work for me is da 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 you know so this one for me is like I don't know how to make it works for me because it works fine on my hand and it looks great and it just doesn't work at the area you want it to now the next one is my favorite drugstore brand essence I'm gonna complain about their mascara right I bought the one Volume Hero and uh, Super Curl and Maximum Definition Volume Mascara. I tried three of them individually and together. These two look like a brothers and sisters, so I thought I'm gonna use them together. If you happen to watch the my full face drugstore makeup, you would know this. I was using this during the video. And this Volume Hero one, I have the most of problem because not even mentioned this doesn't work for me. It even ruined my last step it made my lashes go straight up forwardly if you already have a beautiful conditioned eyelashes I think it might work for you but if you have a few or short eyelashes then the next one is Milani Baked Blush. This one, okay, this one actually is my problem. I bought the shade 09 Red Vinyl. This shade is so dark. <laughs> It was a mistake I bought this color because I thought, oh, I want a, you know, I just had some wine. That sort of affection, you know, but then I got it. It's just way too dark for me. I think if you have a darker skin, this might work for you because the shimmer and the shine in it is just so beautiful. If your skin tone is similar to mine, just be aware of these and it might look too dark for you. The last of drugstore brands, I have three products here and they are Ellie Girls Eye Lux Mesmerizing Shadows. I have the shimmer one, I have the matte one. So harmonized and urbanized too. And another one, I think it's the same collection, just glowing blush. I know a lot of you like it. Um, when I was buying this, I loved it. I actually went to a beauty show with my friend. I even recommend her to buy one because when I tried it on my hand the first time, it was so creamy and it worked so great. The shimmer looks beautiful. But then soon after, you know, one day I was like, oh, I'm gonna use this. And then I tried on my eyes. It's just like, I don't know, it's kind of like expired. It doesn't work. It wasn't. It wasn't as pigmented as the time I tried it. This one actually works better than this one. Uh, yeah, they're they're very cheap. But when I'm using this, I will have to set my eye primer and use the brush properly. And you know, my other condition, other tools of using this has to be very good to make it work. So if you spend seven dollars or seven euro on a cheap palette, you might not be so rich. We all know the rules of applying eyeshadows. You always need to have a primer. But I'm saying, to be honest, when we're young or start our adventure with makeup, you don't really have that much money to buy every step you're going. So we most often tool you, you you're using is just your hand, your finger. If you're using your finger to apply this. Um, it would just look like a dirt. So, okay, here comes the middle level one. I'm so glad I don't have so many middle level one. The first one I'm gonna mention is the Zoeva lipstick. I bought their creamy lipstick, shade Verna's face. When I apply this on, even I have a treatment for my lips before, it will still have like pieces of color or pieces of skin falling out and after two hours my skin will dry as f i really like zoe of other stuff but this cream lipstick is just i was so disappointed after all it's not so cheap i will still use but like this one is the one i feel like oh every time when i mention this i will Miss the, the money. second one is a Stella. The Stella Stay All Day Concealer Refill. This one, when I bought it, I was so excited because look how creamy it is. And the shade is perfect for me. But then soon I fly on my face, I realize it doesn't work because it's too creamy. Yes, because it's too creamy, so it doesn't actually work to cover anything. 
black area under my eyes are still black and so yeah this is creamy yeah it just it doesn't do its job but the good news is i found to use this as a eye primer is extremely good the last one from middle level is what i'm mostly disappointed which is the jewel essential jet set matte shadow palette um, yeah, this jet set, I bought their three lipstick kits and I bought this eyeshadow. When I was buying it, I was so, so, so excited because the color is so essential and the shade is just so neutral. I love it. I think, you know, I thought I'm gonna travel with this a lot, but the formula for me works so if you're interested, you can go back to check the first impression of this one and I was using their shadows testing, the first impression wasn't so great and later I used it seven times more you blend it, it would just fade out. I was thinking, you know, as a jet set, it's supposed to be travel friendly but yes, here it has a little brush but the thing is, when you're traveling, you don't really have that time to blend and plus, sometimes when you're traveling, you're just gonna use your fingertips to applying on but with your fingers to applying those shades on your eyelid is a bizarre i don't know the mind sign of you know the creators create this palette but isn't that supposed to be friendly travel with easier to apply on well yeah the packaging is, is easy to travel with but but it's hard to apply with the brush you're giving and with your finger so that's kind of like mm. Are you sure? Okay, here comes the high-end one. These are the one I cry most because they're not cheap at all. Well, the first one I'm gonna say is the Chanel Lip Balm and Powder Duel. It's the shade Russell Palmentino. It's a lighter shade in this collection. It has two shades. One is lighter red, one is darker red. Oh my god, this one I'm so sad because it's so delicate and so pretty. It actually has this one is kind of like a lip balm type, and this one is a powder. I was thinking, oh yeah, I can just be as elegant as you know, this elegant woman. So yeah, I bought it. It was, I remember clearly, this was 36 euro. So I bought this one and come back, and then it doesn't have any perfume in it and that's the difference the most disappointed point for me is just like these two supposed to work together as a lip or you know blush but this lip balm sort of cream doesn't as creamy as creamy enough to stick this powder on so yeah you can use this little brush to apply on then later just don't eat don't drink don't eat don't do anything that harms your lip or it will just right away fading off like it's like a layer of powder of course gonna fade and so as a lip product this one is just like oh my god why are you doing this but by comparison this one as a blush works better than lips but after all since i opened it you see i still kept this plastic i only used the one since i bought it and then i just put in the drawer and cry. Here comes my suggestion part. If you're asking me, I think to make this lip balm sort of thing stick here, then this powder can actually stick on it and it can sort of melt it together. Doesn't make any sense. So yeah, 36 used once. But Chanel has other stuff I really like, such as the lipstick I'm using today and the Coco Stello Collection lipstick I also love. Okay, the next one is the Tom Ford Single Shadows. I bought two shades. One is Vertigo, one is this one called Camera Obscura. And yes, I bought this one. This one was actually the newest in the collection at the time. I compared it with the drugstore, same shade. This one definitely has its you know, the expensiveness the, and the glitter in it is giant. It just brightens your eyes. Then later I used it more. One day I had a galaxy eyes with this and it just fade away. I thought I would be shining through the galaxy. It's just gone after a few hours. Okay, the last one. Okay, the last one actually is the earliest. I bought the first stuff from this year. It's a Dior Addicted Lip Tattoo Longwear Color Tint. 
I bought this in airport. I bought two shades. One I gave to my sister-in-law, one I kept it for myself. This one is darker one. So I kept this one. I was so excited because this one was only selling in certain areas. So I'm gonna come home, used it. It's very minty. It's pumping my lips. Then I was using those like Korean style, having this one in the center of my lips and I was kind of, oh yeah, I'm so pretty. And I was expecting, because it's called tattoo, right? I was expecting it was just staying there forever. And then, not forever, but you know, at least it lasts all day. But then, soon after I had a straw, I used the straw. Use the straw and drink the water and it's gone and later I checked online and said oh you have to wait for a while when it's dry and it, then it will stay forever so I tried and then when the food time came and it wasn't even so oily after food my lips are just gone and it disappointed me again you can see it's as new as I bought it I barely used it like probably I used it three times and even the paper box is very new and I've seen so many good reviews about this um, I don't know how did you use it and if you have a good experience with this one please please leave it down below and tell me how to make this work because I still really like this color and I want it to work yeah, so that's it guys and every single of them I look, I, I can just remember the time I bought them, I was super excited and now they're on this list and uh, the money I spent on them. Okay, so yeah guys, um, I'll go get myself some sweet stuff to eat and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Not really enjoy, but like I hope this video is useful for you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me, please subscribe me and you can also leave down to the comments tell me what you want to watch from me. I'd love to make it for you. And yeah, that's it. And I hope you have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye.